What exactly is this hemoglobin A1C? One point five percent lowering of hemoglobin A one C is a big, big deal. Hemoglobin is a protein. I used to have a professor at med school who would carry around a piece of plastic model of muscle in his pocket. He was one of our diabetes professors, and he'd pull that piece of plastic muscle out, and he'd say, "This is a lot more realistic than you might think." He said the problem with diabetes is high blood sugar plasticizes the proteins in our body, and he was right. I mean, it denatures it. You've seen the pictures of an egg, and then they show an egg that's been fried, and they they say this is your brain on drugs. The difference in those two eggs, the raw egg and the fried egg, is that the protein in the egg has been denatured. That's what happens when your blood sugar is too high for too long. The glucose actually forms what we call a covalent. Bond with proteins. Now, there's a thing called AGE, and I don't mean aging. I mean advanced glycation end products, and that's what those things are. Those are proteins that have been denatured by blood sugar. Well, if you look at high blood pressure, it appears that a major portion of high blood pressure is due to these advanced glycation end products, glucose denatured protein clogging up the sensors inside the kidney. And when they clog those up, the sensors think that the kidney filters aren't getting enough pressure. So they say, "Wait a minute! Increase the volume, get more pressure in these blood vessels, so they can push that blood through the filter mechanisms, through the glomeruli. That's the filters. And there's about a million filters in each kidney. So that whole thing about AGE and glycation end products and plasticized muscle protein is a big deal. Why did I go down that bunny hole? Because of this question about hemoglobin A1C. You see, he. Hemoglobin is a protein. It carries iron. The purpose for hemoglobin is to carry iron, which in turn carries oxygen. The hemoglobin gets impacted with this process just like any other protein. And so, what we have found in medicine is we can actually look to see how much. Glucose you've averaged in your body over the past 90 days, because 90 days is the average lifespan of a red blood cell. Now, then we get into some arguments. So, doc, that's so easy. Doctors have gotten to where they just depend on hemoglobin A1C. They think patients don't want to come in to spend a couple of hours. To do an actual test to what we call a glucose tolerance test, so they just do a hemoglobin A1C and they say, well, the typical one is if it's 6.5 or above, you've got diabetes. Some people say seven or above. The reality is, if it's in the mid fives, usually you've got enough insulin resistance there, pre-diabetes, to cause. Plaque, inflammation of that intimal lining of your artery wall, and therefore plaque, and therefore heart attack and stroke. So even if your doc says, "Well, you just got a little touch of sugar," because they're looking at your hemoglobin A1C, be afraid. Be very afraid because that's a problem, and it's a much bigger problem than your doc knows. And so focus on it. Deal with it.